CS3D Imaging Creating a Reconstructed Panoramic Image Recorded Class This recorded class is designed for clinical team members and provides instruction on creating a reconstructed panoramic image in CS3D Imaging. By the end of this class, you should be able to trace a panoramic arch. Trace an additional arch. Adjust the arch. Set a region of interest. And adjust the cross-section plane position. To test your knowledge, there is a four-question quiz at the end of the class. Tracing the dental arch. To draw a trace along the dental arch, follow these steps. Select the Curve tab. Click and drag the slider at the base of the Axial Slice View screen to display the region you are interested in. In the Tools pane, click to activate the Manual Tracing tool, or using the extended list, click the Auto Create Arch tool to automatically map and create both arches. The Auto Create Arch tool requires an 8 cm diameter or higher field of view. When an automatic trace has been drawn, you can adjust the trace manually by enabling the Select tool and moving the points. If automatically create an arch is selected in MPR Preferences, when you click the Curve tab for the first time, a jaw arch is automatically created. If you do not want the arch traced automatically, deselect here in the MPR Preferences tab. To create the arch yourself, activate the Manual Tracing tool. Click to select control points along the arch. Seven control points are recommended. To finish the dental arch, double-click to set the last control point of the trace. The trace is complete, and an entry is created in the object list. Then, select a value of 10 to 20 millimeters to display the reconstructed panoramic view. Tracing an additional arch. As shown previously, the Auto Create Arch tool automatically creates both arches. To manually trace an additional arch, after tracing the first arch, from the objects list, double click inside the toolbar to name it. Move the axial plane to the second arch position. Activate the Manual Tracing tool. Trace the second arch. Then name it. The user can now easily toggle between the two arches. Adjusting a trace. To adjust the position of a trace, activate the Select mode. In the Axial Slice View screen, click and drag directly on the red line to move the entire trace. Or click and drag an individual control point to adjust part of the trace. You can also adjust the position of the trace by using the red handles in the cross section view or by using the mouse scroll wheel function. Setting a region of interest. In the Adjustments pane toolbox, select the Basic Region of Interest tool. The Region of Interest window appears. Use the white horizontal lines to define the upper and lower limits for the region of interest. Click OK. Now, the reconstructed panoramic, oblique, and coronal images 
are cropped to the limits set in the Basic Region of Interest tool. Adjusting Cross-Section Plane Position Click to activate Select Mode. Then, use the yellow and blue handles in the reconstructed panoramic view to adjust the position of the cross-section plane. The position of the axial slice cross-section plane is updated dynamically in all view screens. This concludes CS3D Imaging, Creating a Reconstructed Panoramic Image, Recorded Class.